Welcome back to Hannity as we continue with Eric and Laura Trump. And good to see you both. All right. You have lived, you watched the special counsel. I keep pointing out, okay, you got Ukrainian collusion, you got Uranium One, you got deep state leaks, almost one a day. You've got Hillary Clinton's issues and crimes. You got the special counsel to the FBI investigated for leaking. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, you got James Comey. This has been an eventful, to say the least, 200 days, but a lot of it is geared towards your family, your father. What do you do? You think this is personal? Yeah. Is it he? Is he really a threat to all of them to that extent that they want to prevent his agenda from getting passed? Do I think it's personal? Yes. Do I think Washington is a lot more corrupt mm -hmm. than most Americans think? Absolutely, no question about it. The uranium one is the most boggling thing of all time. We gave uranium. We gave the vast majority up of to the, 20 percent. The United States stockpile of uranium, the material you use to make nuclear weapons, to Russia. To Russia. I mean, think about that. And nothing gets done about it. I mean, they, they harp over an email that's total nonsense. I mean, think about that deal. Think about, you know, the fact that Saudi Arabia was giving hundreds of millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation. I mean, think about all of these. And the way they true treat women, crimes. gays, lesbians, Christians, and Jews. Yeah, that's it, hypocritical. It makes, it makes no sense. I mean, it just makes no sense. You, you see Loretta Lynch on the plane. You see all these other things, and no one cares about it. And I mean, it really actually speaks to the corruption. I feel like a little city. voice in the wilderness here, Eric. I really do. And there's such deep corruption. But it's your family. You're close to it. And knowing your father, as many years as I have before he ever got into this, he seems to handle it like it just doesn't bother him. You know, I actually he say it. He likes to fight back. I say it all the time. They can work as hard as they want to stop Donald Trump, but I have never seen anyone outwork my father-in-law and he will keep fighting for the American people to the bitter end and Eric said it he'll get these things accomplished he will keep fighting for the people that put him in office because that's so important to him remember this is a man who did not need this job Sean he had the greatest life in the world and he put it aside because he saw real problems in this country and he knew he probably is the only person that can get through them and they're very scared of him that's why you see so much of this out there and, and I know without a doubt that when you see them attacking him, it means he's doing things right because they're very, very scared. What would you like? I actually think the Republicans going on yet another vacation. I've never seen so much vacation by members of Congress. They've taken more vacation this year, which is average, than I've taken in the last 15 years. I've never seen anything like it. Your dad's not on vacation in spite of reports, right? He's working. Yeah, do you, my father's not a vacation guy. I've, I've never in my life seen my father take vacation. <laughs> you mean you didn't go to I, the, I think uh, Aruba uh, with I think your dad? We inherit that trait, but no. He um, listen. He's a worker. Right? He's a worker, and he takes his job incredibly, incredibly seriously. And that's why when you look at all the accolades of things that he's gotten done, it's substantial. And you know that's who he is as a person. He's a hard driver. He's a fast mover. You look at the campaign. I mean, there's never been somebody who's worked harder in a presidential campaign. Ever. He's doing six, seven rallies in front of 20,000 people a day. The I mean, rallies are even stronger now. It seems like the people that voted for him instinctively see him under fire and want to help him. No, we just went to West Virginia together, and it was incredible. You had 20,000 people in a room. You're literally driving up to the venue. It's people as far as the eye can see, and they are going crazy. They come out with their handmade signs. and. I mean, that speaks to love. I mean, they went out, they put the time in, they're waiting there for hours and hours, they want to see the president. You finally have a person who gives them What makes you hope. think Republicans will, will finally step up? Well, listen, I certainly hope they do. Um, they better, because he's doing great things for this they country. They better, or they're going to get fired. He's changing this nation. From every possible indice, he's doing unbelievable things for this country. This country has more jobs. This country right. is wealthier. It's stronger. I mean, if you get this economic plan things. passed and you couple it with energy independence, I think you, you see unemployment eliminated. You really can create so many career high paying jobs. All right. So five weeks. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, have you practiced Lamaz? Are you ready to support her? <laughs> I am ready to support her. I yeah, I remember the, I went to we, the Lamaz class and then the lady was very kind and she goes, now I want you to do it. And yeah. the, I'm like, I'm not having the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do well, I have do to I learn this? To this and we, she goes, we, no, you can help. We've been nesting. I've been hanging mirrors. I've been putting together cribs and furniture and sure. all this other He's stuff. very handy. So we've been, uh, yeah. we've been doing a good job, but we're really excited. I'm handy. I had 10 years as a contractor. Yeah, I'm pretty handy, too. All right. And Congrats. Grandpa's excited, and too. So We appreciate yeah. you being with us. Thank All right, you. when we come back.